Hi, I'm Brian Hayes. I'm a Salesforce and product consultant with Rotiv. Rotiv is an official Salesforce partner, and we help small businesses automate their processes. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Opportunity Teams to help split commissions or split credit for a given opportunity. So I'm in Salesforce here. I'm looking at an opportunity record. I've already got opportunity teams and opportunity splits enabled and set up in the system. If you don't have it set up yet, we have another video that walks you through that process. So I've got it set up here on the right hand side. I've got opportunity team, the related list available. You might also find it just in the related section of, of that opportunity record. And when you go down to that list, you can add an opportunity team member manually here by clicking this button, choosing a user, choosing a role and what their access level is. And you can choose multiple at the same time, or you can add a default team. So if you work with the same people every time, highly recommend you go through the process of setting up a default team. It's going to save you a lot of clicks in the long run. So to set up a default team. Just go to your user settings by clicking the picture in the upper right hand corner and clicking on settings and then click on advanced user details. This is showing us sort of the older version of the user record or user settings in Salesforce. If you scroll down, there's a related list here called opportunity team. Here it is default opportunity team. So just click add and you can add different users to your opportunity team here what level of access they should have, as well as their role on that team. Once you've got that created, you can just click that one button, add default opportunity team, and they'll all get added automatically for you. Now you can still modify that opportunity team even after you add the default. So it's really just a starting point to help save you some time. The next thing we're going to look at is opportunity splits. So let's go back to an opportunity record here. Here's our blouse bar and opportunity where we have two people. One person's called the road of sport. One person is David Rose. And then down beneath that, we have a related list called opportunity splits. I'm going to click edit on splits here. So currently David Rose is getting a hundred percent of the credit for this opportunity. I'm going to choose road of support and I'm going to give them 25%. So it automatically calculates the amount for us, which is nice. But if you notice, 100% and 25% is more than 100%. So lower right hand corner, you can see that we've got an error here and a little warning sign. When you first set up opportunity splits, you can choose what split type must add up to 100% and what split type could be more than 100%. So in our case, we have revenue in overlay. Those are the two defaults. So revenue is limited and must always equal 100%. Overlay doesn't have to be that way. So on overlay, I could have both of them get a hundred percent credit. So let me add David Rose here. He gets a hundred percent. Then we can add another row for road of support and we'll give them a hundred percent as well. And you see down in the lower right hand corner, we don't have any error. It's not an issue. So one question that comes up is when would you want to use one split type over the other? Well, revenue is typically going to be used to split commissions. And most companies do not want to be paying double commissions on an opportunity that closes. So it's limited to hundred percent. So you have that full, you know, hundred percent commission, which you can then divide up across multiple people that may have contributed to that deal. So we're limited to just hundred percent. That's common. If it's going to be used for commissions overlay or going above hundred percent, sometimes that's used. If you have a person involved on the opportunity team, who's really in a primarily a support role. So a pre-sales solutions engineer, as an example, or maybe an account manager that owns that relationship, those two positions might not have a commission structure that's based on closed deals. Instead, they might have a goal that's based off influenced revenue. So how many deals have they been a part of and have they helped close, even though they're not the one who's primarily working it or primarily closing the deal. So it, it just depends on how you've set up your, your compensation and how you've set up your goals for the different people and opportunity teams. The nice thing is you've got flexibility here, so you can do both. You can have account executives that are working on a deal together that split the commission, and then you can also keep track of other supporting roles in that process to make sure that they're getting credit for the revenue that they've helped influence or that they've helped bring in. So whenever you're happy with your changes, just click save. And that's going to be saving that opportunity split record in Salesforce, which we can actually report on later. 
and even use in the forecasting feature in Salesforce. And that's it. If you found this video helpful, please hit like. And if you want to see more tutorials like this one, click subscribe. Thanks for watching.